Hello and welcome to Jams. Welcome to Hammer Watch. Um, it's a good little game. This uh, I've had this for a while. It, it, I think it came out on Steam in 2013, um, and it's pretty good. Oh, I forgot that mana regens really slowly in this game. So it's a kind of top-down, wander through a dungeon kind of game. It's fairly, you know, the gameplay isn't anything too extraordinary. It's a nice little, uh, nice little game. It's not the most inventive thing in the world, but I, I really like it. I just, I like the simplicity of this kind of game. It makes me happy. Ah! Fuck off. Yeah! Oh, I totally thought I had enough mana to do spells. I just didn't. Uh, so I've gone for the uh, the Warlock. There are a couple of characters you can pick. There's a Ranger, which seems to have this kind of bow. But it doesn't really have any sort of normal attack. And there's me with... What is my wand doing when I'm walking like that? What the hell am I doing when I'm just, just waggling it as I go? Just with a, with a bit of style there. Um, it's odd. So, yeah. The Warlock, less health, kind of magic, kind of weird, stabby, glow stick thing. Oh, really could use some magic. I don't know how much mana the spell costs, so I don't know what, if I'm in like any... Oh, there you go. Okay, 24. So I don't, I don't know if I'm anywhere near like the mana cost for this at all. Ah. There's no jump, which seems... I mean, yeah, fair enough, because you've got this top-down thing, but I feel like you could have put jumping puzzles in this game. Perfectly easily. I mean, that being said, some of the early Zelda games are like this, and things like the Zelda for Game Boy, you end up like this. It's sort of view you wander around in a dungeon but there's no specific jump button so yeah fair enough I'll stop bitching mana crystals let's not run over too many of them you know when a game gives you stuff like this and you think why is that happening a save point right before a boss well this is bad You know what else this reminds me of? The um, uh, there was a, a Lord of the Rings game for uh, uh, for Game Boy. I think it was a Game Boy Advance that was kind of kind of felt like this, like the way everything moves, the way the bad guys move, like just how the game fits together. Some of the graphics as well, a little bit. I mean, to a lesser extent with the graphics, but. Yeah, it's kind of what this reminds me of. And I like it in the same kind of way, actually. In the, It's not anything special. It's not... Oh, I poison things. That's why the wand's green. Oh, that was just a miss. How many hits it takes me to poison things? It's just the one. Yeah, it's just the one. That's cool. Didn't know that. Oh, that's a boss key if I ever saw one. Did I, just, did I just walk past that? No. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Thought I was going stupid for a minute then. Stupid bat. God damn my lack of health and armor and... Oh, apples. No! Fuck you! Some lightning. Grubs. That seems fun. Oh, mana crystals.
Oh, this is a problem. I've done goofed. I've done goofed. Aha. You've your key undefended. Your precious, precious key. Oh, that's annoying. Save me, Apple. What? Just, just lightning grubs? I mean, that's that's what happens in real life when you lightning a grub. They just don't die. Have that. How do you like poison? Surprise, motherfucker. Probably should save, but I'm not going to. Banzai! Ah! Was that my head? Did my skull just pop out? Anyway. So, I've been Faust. This has been Hammer Watch. It's a good little game. I think it's only about seven quid on Steam. Uh, give it a go. Nice, nice simple game. Uh, you can do multiplayer as well, which is kind of good. So, maybe I'll get the other, uh, the other jams guys involved. See you next time. Bye.